we are finally doing another Decades Plus review. Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, my name is Lizzie and I'm a Disney Plus collector from the UK. So happy Tuesday, today I'm wearing my Joey's Chew hoodie that I got in my Walt Disney World haul and if you didn't see that I'm going to leave a card up above because I'm going to be doing a plush review of something I received in that haul. So for a little bit of context the Decades collection hit the UK in March, we got the 1920s and then we were due to get the 1930s in April but the plush was missing. I messaged Disney a few times, commented on their social posts asking them to make an announcement about where the pigs were and when they were coming and we got nothing. We did however get the announcement for the 1940s and the plush was included in the announcement so I can only hope that when they release tomorrow, yes I am filming this immediately after that whole video I filmed, that we do get the plushes and we do get an announcement that we're getting the 1950s plush. But I was panicking, not knowing when I'll be able to get this, do a plush review, will I have an incomplete collection forever? So I asked my friends Rob and B if they would get it from Walt Disney World for me, they were doing pickups for other people, it was no problem. So I do have the plushes now. So they'll be exactly the same as when the UK gets them, if the UK gets them, but I can't see them not because it's not fair on collectors to just skip one. So what is it? This is the Disney Decades collection. There are going to be 10 releases for each decade of Disney's 100 years and this particular one is the 1930s which is based on the Three Little Pigs. Where can I buy them? So this is where it gets interesting because at the time of filming they are not available in the UK. I paid $45 before tax in Florida but the 1920s was £35 so I would assume that they would also be £35. The 1940s was $65 in the US so I'm waiting to see how much that will be in pounds. I'm hoping for around £50 or less. What is so special about them? So I really like that they are picking more obscure plushes. I'm not a fan of the 1950s but I will get onto that when I own it because I hoped they would kind of stick to their cartoon roots and not do any live action. But the Three Little Pigs are very underrated and it's hard to get plush of them. However, with the pin set being Horace and Clarabelle, I would have really loved them as plush actually, but I will take the Three Little Pigs. So let's get on to showing you them. So they're obviously in their little Disney 100 Decades bag again. I don't know yet whether they will all be the same size bag. This looks to be the same size bag as the Mickey and Minnie, but the 1940s is going to be five little horses so I will do a comparison when I've got that one if I get that one. So these are the three little pigs, Fifa, Fiddler and Practical. I've had to do a little bit of googling of which one's which because while I know the story of the three little pigs I don't actually know which one is which. But we've got a tag that is on the bag, it says Disney 100 Decades and then just plush, it doesn't tell you two of ten or anything and then it says travel back in time through the last 100 years of the Walt Disney Company with this enchanting limited series. Crafted by Disney artists this collection offers a chance to celebrate our most beloved characters and how they come to life on screen. From the 1920s onwards every decade captures hearts and imaginations all over again. Go on a magical journey through the years with pieces that embrace the dreamer in us all. And then for the Three Little Pigs it says the Three Little Pigs premiered on May 27th 1932 as a silly symphony cartoon. The short film follows three pigs who must outwit the big bad wolf. Fiddler Pig and Fluffer Pig, who are carefree and untroubled, build homes that make them vulnerable to the wolf's huffing and puffing. Practical Pig takes care to build a house of bricks to thwart the villain. So I might actually post about these on May 27th since that's their anniversary. I'll see what day May 27th is. But I'm just going to get them out of the bag. The bag does stretch to get them all out. So interestingly, they're all separate. Mickey and Minnie were kind of attached together with those little plastic things to make them hold hands and to be honest I can't remember in pictures of them on display whether these were just really close or whether they were actually holding hands. But it's better for me 
to show them to you if they are not attached anyway. So I'm going to start with Five for Pig. He's got the flute and he's in a kind of orchestra outfit. So he's got a little white and black hat and then a black satin jacket with a white satin bow. He's got the Disney 100 Decades tag by his little tail and he's got a really, really long tag that is almost as tall as him. So in the Three Little Pigs story, he is the one who builds his house out of straw and hay. Next, we've got Fiddler Pig. He is obviously the one who plays the violin so he's got a little felt violin he's wearing a sailor outfit which is a blue hat with black trim much like donald ducks and then a blue silk shirt and a black bow again he's got the little disney 100 decades tag by his tail and then the really long tag and he is the one who builds his house out of sticks and then finally we've got practical pig the one who builds his house out of brick so he's got a brick in one hand and the kind of spatula to spread the cement he's wearing a work outfit so he's got a white hat and a blue boiler suit just feeling around he's still got the disney 100s tab but it's underneath the clothing so i figure that because their faces are kind of the same the pigs were made and then dressed and had accessories added so i could easily just shove his big tag into his suit like the disney 100 one and that at least hides one of them so he's just there so we've got practical fiddler and fifa so these were 45 dollars before tax in florida i can't remember what tax in florida is but they are usually 35 pound in the uk at the time of filming there's still been no announcement but i really hope for your sake that by the time this video goes up they are already readily available in the uk and europe i am now behind with my decades plush reviews but i'm hoping that tomorrow we get the plushes for the 1940s and then i will try and get a video up for you as soon as possible but it's come at a really bad time because i'm just about to go on my disney cruise when i get that plush so i won't be able to film straight away are they worth the money so the mickey and minnie were 35 pound for two plushes can't remember how high they were but there are three 11 inch roughly plushes here they are really really cute i think the more they put into these bags the more value for money it appears but the 1940s plushes are going to be five plushes and they've upped their price so i would have liked the price point to stay the same every month it's better for budgeting if you are collecting all of these and shop disney uk doesn't announce the price ahead of time so i don't know how much it's going to be in pounds but i think three plushes for 35 pound is okay because if they were sold on their own they would be more like 15 pound each so i think we are getting good value for money here and because they're detached it's going to be really really easy to put them back into the bag which i love because i kind of struggled with mickey and minnie because they were holding hands and what have you I'm just going to put them in loosely because I'm probably going to get them out in a week or two for the comparison with the 1940s but here they are in the bag i'm going to put them with the 1920s plushes while i figure out where i put them so that is it from me my second plush review of the decades collection i'm going to leave a card up above to the previous video i did so that you can see that one if you're interested in collecting the collection like i said i really hope for your sake that these come to the uk soon if they haven't already by the time of this video going up but I'm really glad to have them to add to my collection. I've still got to think about where I'm going to display them because obviously they are going to be different heights every month. It's not as easy as Mickey Mouse and My Own Attraction where you know what you're getting, but that is a job for another day. So that is it from me. I will see you on Friday for another video. In the meantime, why not subscribe and ring the notification bell so that you don't miss a video from me. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great week and I'll see you on Friday. Bye friends.